How do you go from this to this? Easy. <laughs> Using a honeycomb grid. So this is the before. Now I'm gonna close the windows and I'm gonna put the grid so that the light doesn't hit the background anymore. So notice how there's a lot of light on the background right now. And when I fix the grid, it's going to stop all the spill. Uh, you can already see the effects. Right now, the light is hitting me, but it's also hitting the background. So what I can do is to actually just rotate the light so that it's almost, you see, it's in the background now and it's off the background and you can get away with actually rotating it a lot without losing the light on your subject. I'm still lit and the background is completely dark. Now you might think that this side of my face is a little bit too dark, which it is. So we're gonna use a piece of styrofoam. This piece of styrofoam is gonna bounce our key light. So you see the effect? And look what it's like without. You see the effect? Love it. So I'm just gonna place this here. Just leaned it against a chair. So we have the key light and we have a little bit of fill, which is just soft, it's not directional, and it's just lifting the shadows rather than actually being a source of light. And it's also helping lift the shadows, you know, under my neck, under my eyes, and just makes everything nicer. And now this part of me is not really separated from the background you see so it's completely dark uh, in the background and i'm just it's just me so to make it a little bit better and to like see the contour of my body we add a light on that side which i'm just gonna switch on now and you can see that now this light is hitting my shoulder and it's separating me from the background. It's like giving me just like a, a more of a defined shape. Um, what's missing from this? Lights in the back because the background is dark and it's boring. It's like, you know, there's just nothing there. Um, so we're gonna use lights that we have around the home, practical lights. Alexa, turn on all lights. Okay, that one went on. Uh, this has to go on and this as well. Yeah, so I need to step into the light. Yep, this is where we are. I've kind of avoided putting any lights in the background over there because it would highlight the clothes and the clutter in the back. But I have put lights on this side because this side is actually fine. And if you see, putting this light here, I had to make sure that this light doesn't illuminate the background and also these two lights are turned away from the background. So if I do this and if I do this, you kind of start seeing the clutter there. So what I did is rotate it away, away from that, but still placed it in a way that's uh, nice enough nice enough to look you know to look like something let me do that again okay it looks like a stop sign okay so um obviously if you are not wearing a hat then this would be much better my hat is casting a shadow but you know i don't do bald so so yeah that is our setup <laughs>